women, they make up for over half of our population, but do they amount to half of our rights? The representation of women expressed through pop culture has been consistently changing over time. The jobs, the roles, the expectations, and even the education is ever so changing. But for the better, most would say yes, but some would say there is still a lot of work to be done. And as we take you through this historical time machine in women's representation, we hope to give you a better understanding of the roles and representation that women have endured over modern time. Honey, I'm home. Hello, dear. Hey, what's that on your face? Oh, I just finished cleaning the oven. Wow, you must have been really scrubbing hard. <laughs> yeah. Jimmy, there's my boy. How you been, buddy? How's he been? Well, he was pretty good, actually. He was a good boy. Yeah. Is dinner almost ready, honey? I'm working up an appetite over here. Yes, actually, it is ready right now. Just gotta get the table set. Alright, alright. Sorry, those, they're not the cleanest. I... I know, I'm looking at the table right now. It looks a little messy. I thought you were cleaning all day. Hun, I had so much cleaning to do. Mm. I, sorry, I guess I just missed the table. Missed the table. Well, I guess I can forgive you this time. Where's, the, where's my coffee, honey? Oh, you're right. <laughs> Sorry! No drinks. Dirty table. Not a good start to the night. Sorry about that. Alright, alright. Dinner time back in this era was a precious time for the family. It was a formal nightly ritual. The man had worked a long, hard day and is expecting a tasty, stress-free meal when he gets home from work. The woman is expected to set the table and clean the home while he is gone. Forgetting things like cleaning the dinner table and forgetting the man's coffee might simply upset him. Let's listen in to hear some more. So, uh, can I talk to you about something kind of very important? Sure. Um, alright, well, I kind of want to start working. Work. Now, yes. what would possess you to start working? Well, I've kind of just been thinking about it, and I think a job would really, you know, help out Jimmy. You know, he's getting older, and plus we have another baby on the way, and I, I don't know, just a little extra money couldn't hurt. More money for the kids. You know what? I don't really know about that because I think Jimmy and whoever God knows is on the way. I think they're going to be just fine. I mean, I talked to Joe today at the office. My promotion should be happening any time now. Should be happening within the month. And besides, there's only 25.6% of women in the workforce. And do you really want to be a seamstress, a teacher, a secretary, or a typist? Like, come on. Like, you can't even clean your own kitchen table, let alone handle a real job out in the real world. Are you sure that's really what you're into? I, I actually think it would be a better idea for you to stay at home, clean the house, take care of the boys. You know? Wow. Don't you think that? Wow. That's what you think? I don't know. I mean, I thought that, you know, a job would be a good thing. I don't, I don't know if I should always be just staying home, you know, scrubbing away and doing all this stuff, I thought it'd be just great for me to have a chance to have a job too, why not? That's not what the times are like right now. The times are not like that. Women are in homes. They're not out in the offices. Alright? Now this is the end of discussion. No more jobs, no more anything. Okay. You're staying at home. I'm sorry, okay, yes, I will stay home. Alright, that's the end of this. Okay. Coffee's cold, go heat it up.
for hours. It was ridiculous. I can't even tell you. Oh, I'm just so hungry. What are you eating? Oh, just TV dinner. Oh, I'm gonna go get one. Starving. So what are we watching today? Ellen, I saved it for you. Ooh, you did, eh? Thanks so much. I love the show. Strong women like her and Rosie O'Donnell who make it possible for us to be together. Aww. Love you, girl. I love you, too. So who's on today's episode? Justin Bieber. Oh, I am not attracted to him. Or any man for that matter. <laughs> I know. And that's what's so great about Canada. Times have changed. This is a more modern family dinner. Here we notice that the two in marriage are both lesbians. And instead of dinner being ready for Katie after a long, hard day's work, she instead grabs herself her own TV dinner and joins her spouse on the couch for her favorite TV show, Ellen, an icon in contemporary lesbianism. The history of lesbian culture over the last half century has also been tightly entwined with the evolution of feminism. Lesbianism separatism is an example of a lesbian theory and practice which identifies specifically lesbian interests and ideas and promotes specific sort of lesbian culture. Ideas of Simon de Beauvoir challenges concepts of biological determination arguing that those in power construct sex differences and race differences for the purpose of making conflicts of interest and maintaining domination. Separatism was as such an opportunity for lesbians to diminish the impact of these constructed power differences on their lives. We live in a patriarchal society where women are under the control of men and the mega powers of these important institutions and bureaucracies can dictate the look of femininity. In this scene, we see Katie looking formal and classy, conforming to the set look that the leaders and these powerful institutions have created. The phrase, girl power, is a term of empowerment, expressed as a cultural phenomenon of the early 21st century and is also linked to the third wave feminism. The term is made popular by the Spice Girls in the mid to late 1990s. It was the anthem of young girls across the globe, and to quote the Spice Girls, the future is female, and that their fans are freedom fighters. They claimed, we're freshening up feminism for the 90s. Feminism has become a dirty word, and girl power is just a 90s way of saying it. They believed the new age feminism meant, you have a brain, you have a voice, you have an opinion. Oh, and you also have hot pants too. The mother in this scene is unaware of the Spice Girls and the influence it has on her daughter. But after some quick research, she then realized that, hey, this is actually a good thing for my daughter, and this could benefit the outlook of women in society.
Now, I got a meeting up in 10 minutes upstairs, and I gotta go, but if I leave you with my man Francois, he'll take great care of you, and you are gonna be looking sexy in no time for the 2004 US oh. Open, eh? All right, have a good one. Hi there, hey. you are Musty Laura. Yes. I'm Francois. Hi. I am your hair and makeup stylist for the day. Okay. Are you excited? Yes, I'm very excited. First time, I guess. Yeah. It's a new thing you're doing here. All right, so, For the first time in ladies golf history, the 2002 LPGA Championship arranged for the golfers to have their hair and makeup done. They did this in hopes of heightening the sex appeal, trying to make their golfers look extra sexy before being on camera. In this scene, we have the head of the department, Max Power, trying to warm up Laura Diaz to the idea of heightening sex appeal. He introduces Laura to his top cosmopologist, Francois. You like that? Later, Max yeah. makes some more than questionable suggestions. Let's take a look. We don't want you to feel uncomfortable. 